Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I wanted to talk about Ubuntu 18.04.2. And yes, I know that's just a point release. And Ubuntu 18.04 came out in April of last year. It's getting close to a year old as of the time I'm recording this video. So you might be wondering, why do you want to make a video about that now? And I've already reviewed it, but the thing is, I wanted to talk about an awesome feature in 18.04.2, and it's something that I don't think Canonical gets enough credit for. And when a company does something awesome, I like to call them out on it and let everybody know. And there's a significant feature in Ubuntu 18.04 that I think is a bigger benefit than you might be led to believe. So let's go ahead and take a look at this release, and I'll explain exactly what I'm talking about. All right, so here on my laptop, I have 1804.2 running in live mode. I haven't installed it yet, but I have run 1804 on this laptop in the past, and it runs great. And the reason I think that 1804.2 is a significant release is due to what's known as the hardware enablement stack. This is something that's provided to all 0.2 and higher versioned LTS releases, and in our case, it gives us kernel 4.18, which is actually newer than the kernel 1804 shipped with originally. In addition to that, we also have newer drivers as well. So why is that significant? Well, here's the thing. If you were to try to run Ubuntu 1804, the original release, on brand new hardware, it may not work right. It may not see all of the hardware that you have. The hardware may not function as good as it could, because Ubuntu 18.04 is not going to know about hardware that was released after the distribution itself was released. In this case, though, Canonical makes it a point to update the hardware enablement stack in point two releases and higher. And in this case, it's no exception. We have a new hardware enablement stack here, which means if you were to install Ubuntu 18.04 on a new piece of hardware, there's a better chance that it would work out of the box and everything would be detected than there would be if you were trying the original release that was released back in April. And the thing is, other distributions generally don't do this. Debian Stable, for example, they never do this. They do update the kernel, but only for security updates. They never actually provide you with additional hardware support unless you get lucky and the security update is in the form of a kernel that's a point release that might have something backported. I've seen that happen, it doesn't happen often. And you can actually backport kernels in Debian stable, but the backported kernels aren't always available. So with other distributions, it's quite similar. You get a specific kernel version with that release of the distribution and you have to wait until the next release of that distro before you get new drivers. And with Ubuntu, you don't have to wait. You basically just install the new version when it comes out. If you have a pre-existing system, there's a couple commands you could run, which I'll get into, that'll let you opt in to the new driver stack, the hardware enablement. But essentially, Ubuntu makes it a point to keep their LTS release current with newer drivers. So in my opinion, that makes Ubuntu's hardware compatibility, at least on desktops and laptops, the best of all distributions out there. And any distribution that's based on Ubuntu, Pop! OS, Linux Mint, and others, will also benefit from that as well. The important thing to understand about the hardware enablement updates is that only fresh installs of 1804.2 will have the new hardware enablement. So if you were to download the installation media for Ubuntu 1804.2 or any of its spins and install it on your computer fresh, yeah, you'll have the new kernel and you'll have the new drivers. But if you already had an Ubuntu 18.04 installation in the past, then you're not gonna have the new drivers by default, even if you did run all your updates. But you can opt in to the new hardware enablement stack if you want, but I only recommend you do that if you're having a problem. If your machine runs just fine the way it is, there's probably no benefit for you to do this. But if you could benefit from the new hardware support, for example, if you play games and you have a newer video card, for example, that's a good reason to upgrade to it. And what I'm gonna do right now is show you the command that you would use to go ahead and install it. So I just full, made my terminal full screen. I increased the font size here, and I'm gonna go ahead and paste the command. And credit to OMG Ubuntu for uh, their article where I grabbed this command from uh, basically saved me the trouble of searching the package repositories to find the names of these packages myself. But essentially, you're just running an apt-get install, 
and we're installing two packages, Linux Generic HWE and XServer XORG HWE, both versions 18.04. I'm not going to go ahead and install this because it's already included in the 18.04.2 media that I booted from, but I just wanted you guys to have this command in case upgrading to this is something that you would benefit from. So I'll go ahead and close the terminal. So overall, I really like Ubuntu in general. 18.04 is a great release. I've had no trouble with it. It's been stable. And Ubuntu has awesome hardware support, even better now. And I think it's just a pleasure to use. And I know a lot of people on my channel don't like GNOME. I think GNOME is a great desktop, but I understand it's not for everyone. You can still use the Ubuntu 18.04.2 base and have that paired along with any desktop environment you want. And you know, you'll still benefit from all the same hardware support that Canonical makes available through their platform. So definitely recommend that you upgrade to this, guys. If you already have an 18.04 installation on your system, then you simply upgrade your packages and you'll be on 18.04.2. If you specifically want the hardware enablement stack, I provided the command you'll need to get that. And if you had some trouble with Ubuntu in the past and you want to give it another try, now that 18.04.2 is out, I do recommend you give it another shot, especially if you had hardware compatibility problems. There is a chance that maybe those problems are solved now with this new update. So anyway, I just wanted to let you guys know about that. I think this is a great release, uh, probably one of the better point releases. Point releases are generally not exciting, but point two is exciting with the new hardware stack, hardware enablement stack. And um, overall, uh, definitely recommend it. So thanks for watching. Thank you so much for watching my video, guys. I really appreciate it. If you want to help me out, go ahead and check out my sponsor and my cloud server provider, Linode. Linode now features a new and improved dashboard, their cloud manager, that makes it an absolute breeze to set up your own Linux server. They even have Arch Linux. How cool is that? And of course, they have all the staples such as CentOS, Debian, Ubuntu, Fedora, and more. And it's very easy to set up a server near you. In fact, Linode currently has nine worldwide data centers with two more set to appear this year in India and Canada. So definitely check them out, guys. I appreciate them as a sponsor. I appreciate you guys as a viewer. So thanks again for watching. Subscribe to my channel. I will have more content coming for you very soon. Stay tuned.